Good evening, everybody. This is Ben back again, and I hope you are having a good Happy New Year so far, since today is the very first day of 2020, as as all of you know. And so, of course, this video, of course, I know it's kind of, it is, it's kind of late, because it's already, like I said, the evening is like past 8.30. It's almost 8.40, like three minutes till it reaches 8.40. But... And I almost forgot about doing a video anyway. Of course, I was gonna originally going to do a comparison video earlier. But because of, like, uploading issues, like, it kind of was goofing off or goofing up or something. I, uh, kind of forgot about it. Um, pretty much almost all day because today was kind of boring that I almost forgot about doing a video. Or completely forgot. But fortunately, though, I reminded myself that... I'm gonna, that it's still the new year and I'm still gonna make a video, so I'm, I'm that's why I'm kind of doing this late. But, but anyways, for this video, it's not a comparison video; it's a collection video in which, in which for this uh co first collection video to kick off for the year, I'm gonna show you guys my Lord of the Rings movies, which are all three films which I have on VHS, as you can see. I don't have a, I don't have all of them on DVD. I just have them all on tape. Um, but this is still very good nonetheless. So, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let me move the tripod up. First up, we have The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. This is from 2001, the movie is, and the tape is from 2002. Real Magic, one of the best films of the year by Jules Siegel, Good Morning America. So, yep, here's the side, the other side, the top, and the back. A Ring to Rule the Screen. Peter Jackson's fierce imaginative movie takes high-flying risks and inspires with its power and scale by David Anson and Newsweek. Um, which is, yep, pretty cool. Of course, of course it's based on the book by J.R.R. Tolkien, as most of you guys know. Of course... These three films are, The Lord of the Rings was actually originally all in one book, but then when they adapted the film, they decided to make it, in the, the, it into three different parts, basically. Um, so, yeah, of course, I'm not going to describe all that, though, but, um, but anyways, um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Of course, I actually, I haven't seen all three of these movies. I've heard of them, but, you know, I haven't seen them, but I do hear they're one of the most popular film trilogies of all time, and so, and they're, and they're pro supposed to be pretty awesome, so, so like I said, so maybe one day I'll probably check it out, um, if so or something, I don't know for sure though, just because of the length, like they're, like the first two films are like close to three hours, and the third one is like over three hours, so I don't know if I'll be able to risk that, but. But maybe one day or someday, maybe I'll try. Um, but anyways, we got the the label, and the print date is July first, two thousand two. So yep, this tape is pretty good. Of course, this tape um it opens with the the still version of the New Line Home Entertainment logo, and then the warning screen, and then a promo for the Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers video game, and then the Format screen, the blue PG-13 rating screen, the New Line Cinema logo, and then the film. So, there you go. That's that. That's the Fellowship of the Ring. Now, we go on to the sequel, which is The Two Towers, which is from 2002, the film is, and the tape is from 2003. The Supreme Film Adventure of Our Time by Richard Corliss at Time Magazine. So, here's the side. The other side, the top. And the back, a beautifully considered epic by Elvis Mitchell of the New York Times. And, see if I can, yep. Of course, Peter Jackson directed all three of these movies, as most of you guys know. So, we got the tape, the label, and the print date is July 28th, 2003. Of course, um... I do also have another copy of this, but that tape is, like, unrepairable because the the back part, like, let me just show you real quick. The, 
the rest of these screws, um, I tried taking apart this tape to fix it. All three, see all four screws. Those are what I took about, but the center screw, however, for some reason, it's like a three-point screw. And we, and there's like, I don't even know where they sell screwdrivers like that. So, because of that, that copy of the tape was unrepairable, so I had to get another copy of this. Um, but it's still good. Of course, this tape, it opens with the still version of the New Line Home Entertainment logo, and then the warning, the warning screen, and then the... And then the feature presentation logo, the format screen, the blue PG-13 rainy screen, the New Line Cinema logo, and then the film. So, that's that. That's the two towers. And finally, to round it off, we have The Return of the King, which is from 2003, and the VHS is from 2004. Visually, one of the most amazing achievements ever captured on film by Jeffrey Lyons of WNBC. T WNBC. Here's the side, the other side, the top, and the back. There's no critic review on this one, or on the back of it. Of course, this is the longest of the Lord of all three films, since it's two tapes, and it's also 200 minutes. The first one is 178 minutes, the second one is 179 minutes, so it's one minute longer than the first. This is like 200 minutes. Or at least of the original cuts, because I think they made extended cuts of these. Um, I could be wrong, though, but I think so. Of course, it's bonus The Lord of the Rings Trilogy Super Trailer. Here's tape one. Print date is March 23rd, 2004. Of course, it's a former rental. And here's tape two. This was a former rental from Video Jack. And the print date is March 26th, 2004. So yeah, this is all pretty cool stuff. Even though I've never seen them, but they're all pretty cool. So anyways, this tape, it opens with the New Line Home Entertainment logo, which is the still version, and then the warning screen, and then the newline.com slash ebuzz and DVD promos, then the feature presentation logo, the format screen, the blue PG-13 rating screen, the New Line Home Entertainment logo, the New Line Cinema logo, and then the film. So... That's The Return of the King, and that it, that concludes my Lord of the Rings collection uh, for tonight. So anyways, I will, uh, of course, I will, uh, of course, tomorrow um, I will do a comparison video, which, which was what I was originally going to do today, but of course, you know, the uploading didn't go right, it didn't go anywhere. So tomorrow I will do a comparison video for sure, so stay tuned, and, and thanks for watching, and Happy New Year. Uh, to all of you out there.